Welcome to Makersite. We are a software as a service provider that delivers you automatic digital twins of your product, their supply chains and applications across business, sustainability, health and regulatory criteria to analyze your products. Let's have a look at some of Makersite's capabilities and let's use the 18650 format battery as an example. A fully implemented customer will have integrations established with the various systems, such as PLM and other internal systems. These integrations ensure that all relevant data seamlessly flows into the Makersite system. However, for demonstration purposes, we'll proceed by importing a bill of materials to showcase the core functionality. At level 1 of the bill of materials, we find the battery itself. Moving to level 2, we encounter the jelly roll, which comprises of the cathode and the anode. This assembly is aptly named for its resemblance to a rolled pastry. In this bill of material, each component is identified by its name and material with a CAS number aiding chemical identification. Supplier names and geographical origins are also included where available, facilitating the calculation of transportation distances between manufacturing stages. Let's go ahead and import this bill of materials by simply dragging and dropping it in. Our AI engine automatically maps the bill of material against our 140 premium and public databases in order to surface the digital twin of the product and how it's made. We can see that all 65 items in this bill of material has been successfully mapped and we thrive on transparency, so we make all of this mapping available to you. Upon accessing the Dynamic Performance Modeling Dashboard, you'll promptly receive a comprehensive assessment of your product. This includes insights into supply chain dynamics, a breakdown of the product's estimated costs and visualizations of its life cycle assessment depicting the carbon footprint from production to disposal. We incorporate life cycle data encompassing the product's use phase and end of life considerations for a holistic cradle to grave analysis. Additionally, the dashboard provides visibility into the supply chain risks and compliance with global regulations such as ROARS and REACH. At this juncture, we can conveniently access the Makersite apps business, environment, health, and regulations. Given the prevalent interest in the product carbon footprint amongst our customers, we'll navigate to the climate change dashboard. However, it's worth noting that we offer a range of traditional life cycle assessment apps, including ones for water usage, acidification potential, recycled content, and many more. However, let us have a look into the climate change model. Here, you'll encounter a Sankey diagram, which you may have already been acquainted with. For those who aren't, this diagram effectively summarizes the impact of different components of the product and illustrates how they collectively contribute to the overall impact. As we hover over each component, its specific impact becomes evident. Through a simple right-click on any product or process bar, we gain the ability to dive into the details. This allows us to continue drilling down even beyond the lowest level of our bill of materials. For instance, if we choose to explore cobalt production, the system will reveal the components involved in producing cobalt, regardless of whether they are explicitly listed in our bill of materials. As we navigate deeper into the bill of materials or dive even further into the product model, the display format switches to a grid view due to the vast amount of information to present. In this view, we can observe that cobalt production involves specific quantities of coal, nitrogen, chlorine and other elements. Notably, these details were not originally included in our bill of materials. However, the system draws upon its integrated databases to identify these impacts as integral components of the product's manufacturing process. While we're not battery experts, we do know that cobalt oxide can potentially be substituted with nickel. To go deeper into this possibility, let's click on the substitute option. Here we can input the material or processes we wish to replace. Let's choose fairly pure nickel and apply the substitution. As a result, 
you'll notice that the Sankey diagram updates to reflect a significantly reduced impact from the particular component of the electrolyte. I can also comprehend the impacts of the categories. For instance, let's examine the cost implications of the 18650 battery. Now that we've opted for nickel instead of cobalt oxide, by organizing the data into a grid view, we can better visualize the product's should cost following the substitution. This allows us to assess whether the substitutions are sustainable, both environmentally and from a costing perspective. We can dive even deeper to gain a better understanding of additional criteria and assess the supply chain risks within our product model. By doing so, we can identify hotspots in the product and determine areas where alternative materials or supply changes may be necessary to mitigate supply chain risks effectively. MakerSite's functionality extends beyond just measuring your environmental footprint. It includes features such as generating environmental product declaration, assessing your Scope 3 impact, and material compliance such as REACH and ROS. We're thrilled you had a sneak peek at the innovative world of MakerSite. It would be our pleasure to guide you through a more comprehensive journey into MakerSite, unveiling its cutting edge features and showcasing exactly how it can transform and elevate your company's potential to new heights.